All right, we have made it. It has been five years. Not since I, I've subscribed to this. It's been about two years. But in front of us today, as you can see, we have a very special Japan crate, and that is the very black and gold box of the fifth year anniversary uh, Japan crate crate from Japan. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's, it's a very special one. We'll take a quick look on the side. It's the same as always. These are all the social media and they're on. These are the uh, hashtags they use. We've got a very lovely picture of an octopus on the side, and that is the website which I shall link to in the description below. And I believe underneath we have a very lovely message. We love you. Well, I like you as well, Japan Cray. Not in that way, but I still appreciate you. Uh, anyway, just a heads up after this video. This will be the last Japan Cray video I'll be doing for a while. I didn't plan it to coincide with this, actually. I thought last month's was going to be the last one. But it appears not. Anyway, so I'm going to open this quickly. Uh, there we are. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I believe there's some kind of contest thing going on. We can win something as well. Now, I believe this might be it, which I'm going to put to the side for a second. Uh, we look at that last, because I think you can win something from there. So that would be pretty cool, but we'll do that last. We'll look at the snacks first. And indeed, there we go, it has been five years. And there they are, celebrating. There's Japan Crate Chan and Japan... Wait, what? Where's Japan Crate Kun? Hang on. There he is. Sorry, I had to uh, have a quick look. And yeah, so it's been five years. Uh, I'm going to take a quick look in the middle and I'll be right back. As always, we get a list of snacks, but I'm not going to show you that because that would kind of spoil the video. So as always, I put my hand in, I'm going to grab some snacks. We're going to go through them together. Ooh. Um, and we're going to start with... What the fudge is this? That's very... It's a hand with an eye on... Is this a, ta <laughs> is this a tattoo kit? Has this got 12 tattoos in it? This is a tattoo kit. I'll put a tattoo on myself at the end of the video. Um, yeah, okay, not... What is this? This feels like sweets of some kind. I don't... Okay, let's, <laughs> let's take a look at exactly what this is. This is Metamol Seal, and um, yeah, it's candy that also comes with uh, surprise tattoos. So I'll have a look, because they do indeed have some instructions. So yeah, you cut out the tattoos, remove the plastic, basically it's a temporary tattoo. Uh, yeah, I prefer tattoos that aren't insects, but whatever. But at the end of this video, I shall open this up and put a tattoo on my hand. Or would it be better to do it now, actually, because you'll be seeing my hand a lot then uh, throughout the video. Let's do that. I'm going to open this up and I'll be right back. All right. Uh, actually, I think this will be easier to open up. So this is the Ramune candy. I may have some of this in a bit or whatever. Uh, I don't usually open up the snacks, but I thought this is weird enough that... Uh, ooh. Oh, yo, I've got little emojis. Right, okay. Or oh, like, you know, the text emojis? Which one am I going to use, and which one am I going to cut out? Um, I'm going to use... Actually, I'm going to use the thumbs up one. I quite like that. So I'm going to go cut this out quickly, uh, and I'll be right back, I guess. All right, I'm back, and um, it's, ki <laughs> it's kind of worked, I think, maybe. Um, it's a lot lighter than the rest of my skin, so it's less like a temporary tattoo, and more like I've put a sticker on my hand. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I guess I, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so I'll keep the other ones in case one day I need to put tattoos on my fingers or something. Very, <laughs> very weird. But hey, I'll keep these to the side and I'll probably pop a few in a few snacks time or something. Uh, so, sorry, I did kind of give you a view of this. Ooh, hoo! Yo, we've got a bit. Is this an ice cream sundae Kit Kat? Strawberry cheesecake, cheese cakey. So there's a uh, strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat. Yo, this is a big bag as well. Okay then, man, they are going all out for this fifth anniversary thing. This is, uh, I mean, I know we've had them before, but that's pretty darn cool. Right, let's check out if I read the canner right. This is, uh, so this is the bonus item of the month, and this is frozen strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat. So these are, you know, cheesecake, uh, strawberry cheesecake Kit Kats, 
but it's encouraged to freeze them. So it tastes like a strawberry cheesecake ice cream bar. That I am fully up for, actually, um, because it's quite warm at the moment uh, today where I'm living. So, you know, it would be nice to like kind of chill them anyway. Uh, right. What is the next one? It's a penguin thing. Hatching ice. Is that what it says? Um, they kind of look like eggs, I guess. Uh, oh, that's cracked though. <laughs> okay, so that one's now. That looks like kind of Pac-Man. I, I swear that says hatch, hatching ice. Um, well, there's a penguin or something. Let's check out what this is. This is Super Hyarinko Ice Gum. And uh, yeah, actually, well, so it's not hatching. I misread that. There's bubble gum that has like an ice sensation or something. I kind of know what it means because I've had a few... Um, had a few candy things before that are like mint flavour, but they taste like they're cold, if that makes sense. Also, my uh, tattoo is well melded itself onto my skin now because I can feel it slightly drying, which I don't like, but hey, these are the lengths I go to for this channel. Next up, we have... Oh, are these more, um... Conpeco? I think they are. Um, they're the, like the stars made out of just... Uh, sugar, basically. I assume that's just Compeco. Or it's like mini Compeco or whatever. Had that about two months ago. Obviously this is a much smaller pack. Right, let's find out what this is then. This is Hoshinokuni Mitsuketa Candy. And um, yeah, they're Compeco. Uh, which, no, sorry, I said Compeco earlier, I think. Which is basically just rock candy and stuff. Um, <laughs> it also threw me because the package on the preview is blue, not pink. Yeah, let's go. They're literally just Compeco, but they're called something different. Next up, ooh, ooh, we have a Ramune something. Oh, Cider. Hey, there we are, Cider. Um, Cider no Gami. So, yeah, okay, this is a... So it says Cider. Uh, apparently in America, actually, Cider as well means apple-flavoured, like, soft drink, bubbly soft drink. So, in the UK, Cider is alcoholic. Uh, but, yeah. It looks cooler-esque, though. I thought this would be a cooler bottle, but apparently it's cider, I guess. This is Sour Cider Gummy. Um, and, yeah, it's it's what I said it was, basically. It's, it's a sour cider, but I guess a lot of apple-flavoured, like, sweet things tend to be sour flavour. Ooh, done with sour. We've got a skeleton. Okay, that doesn't make any sense, I know, but... Uh, Niru Kijin Ken Ken... Okay, <laughs> I, I sincerely do not know how you read that. Because uh, fun fact, in Kana, in a lot of cases like this, these could be about three different words, but there's no spaces, so you can't tell where one word ends and the other begins. You just kind of get a sense of it, I guess. Um, but yeah, I imagine they're like orange-flavoured gum things, maybe? This is electric gum, uh, and it's energy drink flavour. Now, I think I had an energy drink flavour from Japan Crate of something last year. Uh, honestly, it tasted quite similar to energy drinks. I just never drink energy drinks because I don't like the taste. So, I, yeah, you know, I appreciate it, but I don't know. Uh, ooh, okay. We've got, oh, we've got more of the same guy because there's that penguin. No, we don't. Okay. I guess they just both... When, ah, I, I know what this is. This is like, um, kind of like gum things, and you get one of those to, like, pick it up with. I think I had some orange gums uh, a while ago, I think. And this is cider flavour, because it says uh, cider there. Yeah, okay, well, we got, I'm going to guess then, this is cider gum stuff. This is cool cider mochi, and yeah, there's indeed small bits of mochi, so they're kind of gum. Uh, it's cool blue flavour and colour. It's cool blue flavour. <laughs> um, what does blue taste like? Because I'm guessing mint or something, but like, that that's slightly unhelpful there. Ooh. We, oh, right, oh, I thought this was a pack of like powdery stuff then. No, it's, uh, oh, gummy bears. Like that song. The Gummy Bear song. That was about gummy. How how near copyright infringing is that? Because that's a bear with a pot of honey, which uh, suit another fictional character kind of likes and is a bear. But yeah, uh, that's a gummy as well. I 
can't be asked to read what the rest of it is. I'm going to guess it says Kuma Gummy or something because bear is Kuma in Japanese. This is Koguma Gummy and uh, these bears are neither too hard nor too soft. Get it? Because kind of like Goldilocks who didn't want porridge because it was too hot or cold, which isn't the same thing as hard or soft. But I appreciate the attempt. Let's grab... Oh, okay, something else. Hang on. Hey, I know what these are. Do I? Yeah, these are Haichu. Are they? Hey, Haichu. Okay, um... These are Chocoball. That's the Chocoball mascot, though. Is this Chocoball X? Ah, oh, Chocoball High Gummy. So... Hey, no, I've actually heard of these. I'm pretty sure Japan Crate... Like, because they've got a separate store that you can buy individual snacks from. And I'm pretty sure they emailed me about this Chocoball and Haichu combination. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Chocolate and Haichu. Because obviously they're going to be like chewy and chocolate inside or something. Um, and there's going to be chocolate, maybe strawberry or something. Okay, that's caramel, Kiarameru. And that's Ichigo. Okay, yeah, so there's caramel and strawberry, I think. Well, let's have a look. This is Chocobal Haichu. Now, I presume there's another mix-up thing in this box because it says, and vice versa, which is probably the snack above, which I haven't seen yet, so we'll see it together. And yeah, they're Haichu flavoured as the original Chocobal flavours. And I was right, caramel and strawberry. See, my, my Katakana reading ability is slightly getting there. Ooh. Ah, this is Sour Pepper. Uh, so, sorry, Sour Paper. Sour Paper. But it's meant to be paper. And yeah, um... Ooh, I'm gonna guess. It's a uh, peach flavour sour paper, which is like a long strip of, like, gummy kind of stuff, if that makes sense. Well, let's have a look if I'm right. It says peach sour paper candy, and is what I guessed. Yeah, it's a popular candy described as paper for a special thin texture. Now, I don't think I've eaten the sour paper from a previous box yet, but, uh... Still hanging in there. Uh, right, next up, let's grab... Ooh. Ooh, we have some potato chips. Why does that bit feel different from the rest? What? Oh, wait. <coughs> ah, the gold bit is kind of textured weird. Wait, are these potato chips or these biscuits? Because I've been thrown off before, thinking they're potato chips, and actually... Wait a second, are these... I don't know if they're potato chips or if they're, like orange segments because they they feel kind of weird uh yeah i can't actually quite tell what these are they're probably artisan kind of chips right well let's take a look at what these are this is uni potato chips and these are potato chips that taste like sea urchin um fun fact apparently japan is the biggest uh consumer of sea urchin i hmm well I do not know how I feel about this, because I've never tried sea urchin, but I will doubtlessly try this, because this is pretty cool. You know, I like potato chips that go above and beyond and just like, here's a very weird one. Ooh. Ah! Yes. Now, I presume this, because it felt like a chocobol uh, box. Ooh. Hey, what do you know? That says Haichu, but wait, that says chocoball. What could this mean? Is this... Ah, oh, actually, I didn't think of this, but yeah, this is going to be chocoballs that taste like Haichu. That's going to be kind of cool. Very interesting. Okay, right. Let's... Uh, I'm going to guess they're grape flavour, then, maybe. This is Grape Haichu Chocoball, and yeah, it's just there's a big collaboration going on, I guess, and um, this is grape flavoured Chocoball. So Chocoball, obviously, usually taste of chocolate, and uh, where is the other one? And obviously, Haichu taste of fruity stuff so um, it's going to be an interesting one i'll definitely do these for a um, snack review kind of thing i'll do them back to back probably it's very cool though I, I like when companies do that and then they've gone ahead and actually given you both instead of just like hey they've done two of them but we'll only give you one here is wow well, it's a very premium feeling box um coconut i'm gonna say uh oh Oh, that's adorable. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought this was like sleeping eyes and this is meant to be a little droplet of something. What? Is this mint ice cream or something? Kira Kira Shiu 
Shokora. Shokora? Maybe Shokora? I, I don't know how you quite read that. What does that say? Ah, that's chocolate mint or choco minto. Um, so that's chocolate mint, whatever these are, like biscuity things. That is really interesting, actually. As I said, this box is like super glossy and everything. This feels quite a uh, high ticket item there. Right, let's see what these are then. These are mochi mochi choco mint. Um, and yeah, they're a luxurious taste of truffle chocolate with a Japanese taste of mochi and their chocolate mint flavour. That sounds pretty darn cool. So they're truffles. I wonder the box feels uh, quite upper class then because obviously truffles, you know, they, they ain't cheap for show. Um, oh, okay, we have a little um, mini roll basically, or like a um, Swiss roll. Oh, I don't know what you'd call them in other countries, but they're like one of those things. They're like roll up cake things, and there's a happy little chef throwing stuff from his bowl. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna guess this is like peach or something. Oh, maybe buttercream, just because that says butter karimu. Um, yeah, right, okay, let's have a look. This is roll cake buttercream. So yeah, they're known as roll cakes, I guess, in Japan, and maybe the rest of the world, I don't know. But this is uh, buttercream flavour, obviously. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of into these. I don't eat a ton of them. But, you know, they're, they're nice little snack things. Next up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's an interesting feeling. It's like a... Uh... No, okay, sorry, I thought that was like a window into what it is. It's a very sticky feeling something. Uh, I can't be asked to read that. What is it? What actually is this? This is red gaburichu, or gaburichu. Um, and yes, yeah, chewy stick, the taste of Fuji apples, which are grown in the Aomori uh, prefecture in Japan. Maybe prefecture? I don't know. Is Aomori like an island or something? I don't know. But yeah. Pretty darn cool. Uh, right, I think we're near the end of this box now. It's time for this box's gum. What will... Oh, hello. I I recognise that Digimon. That's Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Uh, it's going to be a... Uh, I don't know, grape soda flavour, I'm going to guess. Let's check it out. This is Pokemon Apple Gum, so I was wrong about the flavour. But yeah, it's a uh, green apple flavour. And you get two pieces. I mean, technically they're two pieces, because they kind of... You know, the dips. But yeah, very nice. I, I'm always happy to get Pokemon themed things. I know I know it gets a little old, I'm sure, for those who aren't fans of Pokemon, but hey. Uh, feel Aloha. What, ooh, I wonder if this is mango butter flavour. Yeah, wow, okay. So we've got like yet another kind of potato chip stuff, but they're sweet. Uh, we've had a few of these things now, and they're not bad. F uh, jowl. Feel Aloha. There's a t-shirt. That's a pretty cool t-shirt. Um, yeah, maybe there's like a thing you can send off for for a... That's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. Um, feel Aloha. I'm I'm guessing... A bit, I think the packaging tells us most of what it is anyway. But let's double check to see what this is. This is Feel Aloha Mango Potato Chips. They're a limited, uh, they're a limited flavour apparently, which is a balance of sweet and savoury, I guess, which is a blend of m blend of mango and butter. So yeah, not not bad. I can definitely see myself enjoying these. Maybe I like both of those. Do I like them together? Who knows? And the last thing, which is the drink, is ooh, is Japan <laughs> Japan Cola. And this is, I'm going to guess, pineapple flavour, uh, because it says there, pineapple There we are. Very nice. Okay, then. So, um, you know, uh, Pepsi like to do different flavours in Japan. I think there's, like, the pink one. Still haven't opened the pink one. I don't know if I want to, because it's just going to taste like Pepsi. Anyway, yeah, this is pretty cool. So Japan Cola, I guess, is sort of its own side thing. That's pretty darn cool. Right, let's check out exactly what this is then. This is Pepsi J Cola, pineapple, tropical Pepsi. Y yeah, I, is that a weird concept? Um, don't know if you guys have been to like Five Guys, uh, but they're like drinks machine have a kind of blender thing. We can have Coke mixed with syrup and stuff. Uh, right, anyway, I've noticed my battery is very almost dead. 
So I'm going to go grab my charger and I'll be right back and we can have a look at that little leaflet thing about like if I've won anything. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm back. I'm charging everything and I've arranged everything in a lovely uh, kind of display, which I'll set up in a slightly better angle in a minute. But first, it's time to discuss what's happening in Japan. And this month at the Kyoto International Manga and Anime Fair in mid-September, it is not quite September yet, but whatever. It's a be basically it's a big manga and anime convention, uh, which is lovely in Kyoto. And we have the Okinawa Zento Isha Festival, which is um, it takes place during Obon. It's meant to sort of like celebrate ancestors and stuff. And of course, we have the Learn Japanese um, part. So we have Kanpai, which means cheers. Tanjobi Omedato Gozaimas, which means happy birthday. And Isho ni oiwai my show, which means let's celebrate together. I probably butchered that, but yeah, I I sometimes miss this out uh, on the on my Japan crate openings. If you want to focus, there we go. So I thought I'd just show you guys, being as this is the last episode, I'm just going to turn the back quickly. There is indeed a design your crate contest. You can draw what you think the crate will look like in the year three thousand. Which is nice, you'll win a mini camera if you win, or something like that. Uh, but right, I'll angle the camera a little bit and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I'm going to grab a few of these just to try them quickly. As you can see, they're very small little ball things. Let's see how they taste. Hmm, that's not bad actually. They're a little bit sour, um, but they're quite sweet as well and very crunchy. I would give them a happy winking thumbs up. Fair play, it stayed on my skin, which is something, I suppose. It's kind of what tattoos are meant to do. Anyway, um, before I give a wrap-up, I've also realised that there's this thing here. Um, oh, okay, so it says... It's upside down. This card's a small thank you for being part of the Japan Crate family. Uh, scratch below and reveal your prize. What will you find? And promo codes can be uh, claimed through sugoimart.com. Okay, so I'm going to go and find something to scratch this off with. Alright, I chose to use a trusty old two pence, and for those not living in the UK, this is what our money looks like. There's the Queen on one side, and uh, the crest of something on the other. Two pence is not worth much. Anyway, so I, I scratched it off. Are you ready? I won! Three dollar gift card to Segoy Mart. Um, yeah, with a minimum spend of twenty dollars. Uh, now, you may have noticed, I just gave away a bit of the code. That's because... Whoever wants to use this code is more than welcome to. I know it'll only be useful once, but if you do want to use this $3 gift card code to Segoy Mart, please go ahead. I'm not going to. Um, it's, it's not a large amount of money, really. Uh, you do have to spend $20 or more, but hey, go nuts. Um, you know, I, I appreciate it. It's more than they had to give, because, well, I, I bought the snacks. I didn't really... Well, I didn't anticipate actually getting this crate because I thought it'd run out in August, but apparently it hadn't. So, anyway, this wraps up both this month's Japan Crate and probably my Japan Crate series for a couple months. I do appreciate if you subscribe to my channel in hopes of watching these. I I'm sorry. I, I may get back onto them. I may do a different crate or whatever. Um, but, you know, I, I, I understand if you guys want to leave or whatever. I... I don't say stub, sub to channels that change or stop doing things I want them to do as well. Anyway, we will give a, um, a brief overview of this one. And I've got to say, I, I'm quite impressed yet again. Um, big kudos to them for the uh, Chocoball and Haichu thing, because whenever there's big crossovers in Japan, they always do like loads of flavours. I usually only expect to get one, if that. But kudos to them, they gave us both the things to try. That is really awesome. The uh, Pepsi, obviously, is very much appreciated, as is the Kit Kat. And the rest of the stuff is nice and kind of varied as well. I'm looking forward to freezing those Kit Kats, actually. And giving the rest of the things a try. The truffles as well, those will those will be pretty nice. And I think the mango uh, potato chips. These are all probably going to end up in a snack review. So the next few months I will be still doing snack reviews on these Japanese snacks, if you, uh, if you want to stay tuned to see those. And yeah, and, uh, you know, happy 5th anniversary to Japan Crate. This is by far been the best subscription crate box thing I have done on this channel. And I've done like four now. Uh, also, rest in peace, Loot Crate. Uh, loot anime was kind of cool. 
I got it for a few months. But equally, I can I, I could see there was the downward dip. They stopped giving manga and stuff. So yeah, I, I could see they were running out of money. Anyway, um, as I mentioned, do stay tuned. I will be doing some Japanese snack reviews over the next few months. Also, I will be doing a Taku box. I think for one more month, we'll probably be ending that subscription. Because, a little behind the scenes, uh, this scenery may change in the next few months. Because I am moving. Uh, to somewhere else, to a different house, so that will be different. Hopefully I'll be able to set up maybe something slightly better than using a bed. But anyway, thank you very much as always for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there's any particular snacks you'd really like me to see reveal, because I, I can do those soon or ever. And until next time, goodbye.